esteemed colleagues and my fellow PET physicians. My recent observations and examinations have revealed to me that the Earth is moving into a very disturbed and dangerous region of the galaxy. Chaos across the world, madness in the street. The only possible explanation is the rise of Naga, the dark serpent of the void, who is spreading an infestation of demons into our land. I must say I know something of the dark serpent of the void, having tussled with him many times through the eons and the endless corridors of time. The only reason someone as stupid and as inept as me can survive on such a battlefield is by having powerful allies in the spirit world. And my ally is none other than Garuda, Garuda. the great bird god of both the Hindu and the Buddhist religion. In the Hindu religion, Garuda is a Hindu divinity, usually the mount the steed of Vishnu. The god Garuda! Of Vishnu. Garuda! Is Garuda! De is depicted as having the golden body of a strong man with a white face, red wings, and an eagle's beak with a crown on his head. The ancient deity is said to be massive, large enough to block the sun. Garuda is known as the eternal enemy, sworn enemy of the Naga serpent race, and is known for feeding exclusively on snakes. Such behavior may have referred to the actual short tube eagle of India. In India, thousands of people die of snake bite every year, and the eagle is a savior of many parts of India. The image of Garuda is often used as a charm or amulet to protect the bearer from snake attack and its poison. And since the king of birds is the enemy and devourer of the serpent, Garuda Vidya is the mantra against snake poison and also works to remove all kinds of evil. So if the snakes ever have you totally in the backed into the corner, it's Grudia Vidya. Grudias also have the ability to grow large or small and to appear or disappear at will. Their wingspan is 330 yojans. One yojan is 40 miles long. With a flap of its wings, the Grudia bird dries up the waters of the seas so it can gobble up all the exposed dragons. With another flap of its wings, it can level whole mountain ranges by moving them into the sea. So here's a depiction of the... Wow, well, that's a nice one. Yeah, we've got a bunch of different ways to portray it. I've got some well, Garudas, too. He's got some, yeah, it's just uh, both uh, Indonesia and... Uh, oh, there's another one? Yeah, there's a Balinese. Oh, that's version. gorgeous! That's so are you going to do a box on that? That's what I, I was just going to ask that question. <laughs> that, yeah. Somebody's got to do a box on that. Now here's another one that I really like too, especially, how about, this one has many feminine aspects and also look oh, at yeah. the uh, flames on the elbow. Remind me the uh, oh, yeah. elbow flames, always good. Let me get a close up here. Yeah. Well done. And like when they have, you know, here's a costume. I think this one from Bali, the actual, uh, they really do have some elaborate. Remind me the name again? Garuda. Garuda. G A R U D A? You... Yes. My first introduction to Garuda was uh, a postage stamp on a letter that Marshall sent from Nepal in 1968. <laughs> Garuda, <laughs> oh, right. That painting that I have behind my. Uh, okay, history is happening. Behind my. Uh, the, really? The and you my, saved it? My, my oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it was based on that postage stamp. No more Garuda. <laughs> Garuda. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That is That's gorgeous. Let me see that. Mm. Hold on. Garuda Airlines, too. Remember? <laughs> yeah, it's Garuda Airlines. Garuda Airlines. can't wait Airlines. to book a flight on Garuda Airlines. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay. <laughs> out of business, actually. <laughs> it flew off into the sunset.